how to set up Google Analytics with WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add your Google Analytics and how you can configure your Google Analytics with your WordPress website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So what would happen if you do this? Well, basically, if you do this, you'll be able to get all of your information of your website in just one minute in Google Analytics. You'll be able to, you know, read on your traffic, on how many people visit your website, how many people buy stuff, how many people leave before buying anything and stuff like that. So basically, that's what we're doing, basically, to monitor traffic into our website. So let's just jump into the video. So search for Google Analytics and just simply click on Google Analytics and just simply create an account and it's very very easy so over here as you can see i've already created an account as you can see this is my website right here before i had created it this is how it looks like over here now for you it might be different so you you will have to create an account so let me just show you how you basically do that so basically if you already created an account we're going to create a new one we're going to click on admin all right and over here we have a new option we have called create account so we're going to click on create an account it's going to take us over here where we have to do a bunch of configuration and add a bunch of different uh you know options as well so what we're going to do is we're going to add a account name over here so i'm going to simply write in the name of my website new directory and once that's done we can scroll down we have the option that the data sharing option gives you more control over sharing your google analytics so we have benchmark technical support account specialist but we don't have google products and services this will allow us to have google analytics data with the Help of google to help improve google's products and services so turning on this setting enables google analytics to provide best in class intelligence so you can turn this on if you want if you don't want it you can turn off all four of these so now that that's done we can just simply click on next next we have property setup so over here we have to create a google analytics for property to measure your website and your app so over here basically we have to enter in the property name basically the name of our website so we just have to enter in new directory and you can enter in the time zone as well so just simply search for your country boom there you go you can then enter in the currency as well and once that's done we are good to go then we have a bunch of advanced options as well if you want you can show them if you don't want you can leave them as blank just simply click on next then we have our business information over here so we have the company size the industry category we can choose which category our company falls into we'll just say real estate boom there you go we have a small company one to ten employees yes and then we can see how do you intend to use google analytics with your business so we can say measure customer engagement with our site or app yeah we want that optimize my site or app experience no measure data across multiple devices no optimize my advertisement cost yes increase my conversions measure content monetization yes we want the conversion analyze my online sale yes measure my app installation yes and then measure lead generation we don't want that we'll just keep it like this you can choose however you feel like it it all depends on what your need is i'm just using these options as an example and once that's done we'll just simply click on create and then we have the terms and conditions you can read them and agree to them and read some more and then just simply click on accept and boom you are good to go i accept the measurement controls data protection terms for the data that i share with google yes i agree with that i accept and boom we are good to go all right there we go now what we need to do is we need to create a property basically we need to set up a data stream to collect data over here you can choose the platform you can choose the website the android application or the ios application it all depends on you we're going to be choosing the website so we're going to click on web and over here you can enter in the you know name of your website and once that's done just simply click on create stream and once you've done that boom you are good to go so your home page will look something like this and over here you will get all of the information needed your stream id status and you know you have page views your scrolls outbound clicks and then you have site search video engagement file downloads and stuff like that so you have all these things that it will measure google analytics will measure these things for you now the next thing what we need to do is we need to add a tagging instruction so basically we can click over here global site tag so over here this is a tag that we need to add into our site so we'll just copy that code boom once that's done what we're going to do is we can go over here into our website all right this is a different website but the work is going to be exactly the same 
All right, let me just skip to the dashboard real quick. So this is the dashboard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into templates over here. Sorry, not templates. We're going to go into themes. We're going to go over here into appearances and we're going to go into theme file editor. Now what that basically will do, it'll open up the code, the article, CSS and stuff like that. Now make sure you keep your, you know, a backup of this file as well. So you don't mess up with it. Now over here on the right side, we have a bunch of different options. So we have theme, we have archives, comments, header, footer, index, page, search, you know, all of the good stuff. And what we need to do is we need to paste this code that we had just copied right into our website over here. So what we need to do is we just simply come over here we click on footer over here we have a bunch of different options we just scroll down right at the bottom we just simply paste it and we just simply click on upload file and the same thing what we're going to do with the page as you can see it's uploading wait a couple of seconds while edited successfully next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go into header we're going to do the exact same thing as well and you can do this manually if you want or you can download a plugin that's going to help you. So if you do it manually, you're going to have to put all of the code into the footer, the header, the page, and you know, stuff like that. But if you go into the plugin section over here, go into add new plugin. What we want to do is we want to download this one over here, header, footer, code manager, basically HFC manager. And what we are going to do is just simply click on install now. And once it's installed, just simply activate the plugin. And once it's activated, we can do this with just a single sub plugin. So over here at the bottom, you will see HFCM. This is basically it. And over here, you will have all snippet, add new snippet tools. So we're going to click on add new snippet. I'm going to click on add new. We're going to add name the snippet over here, add in the name. So what is the name? Basically, it is gtag.gsauce, gtag over here the snippet type is a javascript because it is at the end as you can see it says js which is javascript so we're going to do that and then we have the site display basically choose the option where we want to this code to be displayed site wide specific post specific pages home page search page and stuff like that or short code only we want it to be displayed on site wide we'll keep it that and we want the location as well we'll choose header as well and then what we want is we'll just simply paste the code over here just simply click on save and boom you are good to go that's how you basically do it after that your code will be uploaded onto sitewide and then you can use google tag manager to you know keep a track of this code and what this code will do is as i said before it will track all of your page views your scrolls your clicks the site searches video engagements and downloads and stuff like that so that's what it will basically do so don't worry about that and next thing to actually manage it what you can do is you can just simply download the plugin for google tag manager and you can just enter in the information for your website and it will do everything for you so you don't have to worry about it so that's how you basically you know configure your website with google analytics to basically manage your website and it's out page views video engagements site searches and stuff like that so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer those questions as soon as possible and if you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications having said that Thank you guys for watching and until next time, goodbye.